Do you want to start a healthy lifestyle, but you don't know how? Don't worry, before you start doing anything, let's talk about what you should stop doing. we spill out valuable tips, tricks and hacks on happy and healthy lifestyle. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. And if you would like to remain updated of this beautiful journey, click the bell icon below. And guess what? We're on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. If you want to see some inspirational posts, workout routines and recipes, have a look at the content and give us a follow. In this video, we'll show you a simple strategy on how to start a healthy lifestyle. Before you buy an expensive gym membership or design your meal plan, let us tell you actually what you should stop doing. Simple, but it will change your life immediately and push you towards healthy and happy life much quicker than you think. We want to cover 10 tips in this video about how you can improve your gym, food and mind. We also have a bonus tip at the end, so stick around. All of these things, easier said than done. But then again, not everyone does it. But do you want to be everyone? Our biggest tip, which we can give you now, is just to start. Of course you need a plan, but before you get to that phase, start to stop doing things. Stop counting calories or macros. Eating whole foods and eating processed foods are completely two different things. Just because three bananas would have the same amount of sugar that would be in a donut doesn't necessarily mean they're equal in insatiety or the benefits that they would bring from a nutritional perspective. Similarly, eating an organically sourced or a grass-fed steak is not the same as having a double patty burger from a, a McDonald's or a fast food chain just because it's got beef in it. So stop counting calories and macros, just eat whole foods. Stop dieting because it's a lifestyle. As we mentioned in our previous videos, don't go on any diets because this is the pure recipe to bounce back. Because this is the pure recipe to bounce back. With time, they will challenge your willpower, your cravings will skyrocket and you will become mentally fucked. Because diets are malnourished, not balanced and unsustainable. Small choices in time become habits and the habits become the way you live. As with most things, go through the effort phase because not everything good is for free. Stop chasing short-term goals. If you were to chase short-term goals, you're naturally setting yourself up for failure. Have you ever bounced back from a diet, gained more weight than you actually lost during the, during the diet? Have you actually felt miserable along the way? These are all repercussions of short-term goals. If you consistently want to wake up every morning energetic or always feel you comfortable with your body or always sleep well every single night and not make it short-term intervals of your life where you gain weight then prepare yourself again to go to a beach holiday or try and sleep better for a month let's just make it consistent and sustainable so it's just like Vera said it's about creating a lifestyle change stop chasing short-term goals and actually think about a long-term perspective because that would simply be like every single day you'd be building a house up breaking it down and destroying it and then trying to rebuild it again. Don't try to fool your body. Probably many times you've heard different advices to stop a keto diet, Atkins, etc. It might be beneficial for your health short term, but very detrimental for your health long term. What you need to take away from this is what is our body goal. First and foremost is survival and keep our body weight. So every time when we do something which jeopardizes that state, it bites back. Mm -hmm. Stop eating processed food or drinking empty calories. All these foods are full of sugar, preservatives, chemicals, and actually does not contain a lot of nutrition. And as a result, there's no satiety, your body's regulation goes out of whack, you gain weight, you become mentally fogged, and then you're back to normal and you're no longer healthy. So this one's quite simple. Stop anything that's processed or junk and stop drinking empty calories. Another point is stop struggling. This is very straightforward. Actually, we want you to put an effort into a healthy lifestyle or to making that switch, but it shouldn't be a struggle because everything which will be a constant battle for you, it won't be sustainable long term. Stop overdoing or overing. 
Try to find balance and simply stop. Overeating, overtraining, overdrinking, overconsuming, over anything. Figure out why you are overdoing something, whether it's overconsuming, or overeating, or overtraining. If you are overeating, make simple steps. Control your portions that you eat. Use the fist rule, or avoid, um, avoid buffets. If you're overtraining, introduce rest days consciously to your workout routines. Maybe, uh, maybe take an active rest, I don't know, read a book or go to, go to the sauna uh, instead of actually going and lifting weights. And to very simply summarize this point, just introduce and do whatever you do in moderation. Not over, not under. Stop doing things that don't serve the purpose you want to achieve. Don't force yourself to do stuff that someone recommended on TV to have like super toned body or uh, don't just get like suggested meal plans which can make you worse. As you probably remember from our first episode, bio-individuality matters the most. So everyone is different and everyone has completely different needs. So stay with us to uncover what actually serves you the best. Next one, stop excuses. And if you haven't checked it already, we've made a whole video about the most common excuses that we come up with not to start or continue having a healthy lifestyle. So check this out after this video. It's quite simple, we break it down into three things. Whether it's an actual concern or whether it's an actual excuse. Understand why you come up with these excuses. Whether it's because you don't have enough information to make a, make a sound decision or whether you just say, you know what, I just can't, I can't give a sh shit. And thirdly, become strong enough to challenge that excuse. And this one is yet again, very easier said than done, but get to a mindset that where you can start recognizing that excuse and challenge that excuse, and maybe sometimes even say no to that excuse. Another thing which you should immediately stop doing, stop comparing yourself to others, honestly. You should strive to be better than you were yesterday. Everyone is completely different. And there is literally, there is no point to compare yourself to others. So simply be your own hero, your own role model, which you will be improving every day and day by day become a better version of yourself. Okay, it's a 10th tip, control relapse. Yes, we intentionally say control because it's it's fair to recognize that sometimes we all relapse. We're all human, we're not robots, we, we're not perfect in that sense. When you do relapse, actually enjoy that relapse. If, it's, if you've been on a consistent streak of great food decisions, good activity, enriching your mind, and sometimes, you know what, you miss a meditation day, or you wanna have a cookie because, I don't know, it's, it's your you birthday. Just felt like or, it. Oh yeah, yeah, you just felt like it. The only thing to recognize here is that it is a relapse or it's a change of your due course, but you should not feel guilty of it and you should just enjoy that relapse. The thing you need to stop doing is continuing that relapse. And as we promise, bonus tip. Stop treating the effect and figure out the cause. Indeed, treating symptoms is simply suppressing them where it's the only information we have on what is actually going on in our body. Let me give you a simple example with the very popular cold and running nose. This is a natural healing process of our body as well as like fever. Suppressing them, actually eliminating information which may support us and help us with healing ourselves. We agree, this is one of the scientific ones. Let's take a couple of more examples. Maybe a little bit more scientific as well. Insomnia. Or alternatively, you consistently feel tired. And what do we do? We pack ourselves with coffee, caffeine pills, Red Bulls, and guess what? This is only gonna aggravate the problem. It's not really resolving the underlying issue. And the worst part is figuring out the underlying cause actually takes a little bit more time and actually challenges the conventional medicine practice that we have and we're used to today. As soon as we get a cough or a cold or a fever, we run to the doctor and the doctor would sign, I don't know, from a paracetamol or a simple paracetamol or a painkiller to extreme versions of uh, penicillin or antibiotics yeah. which again literally only responds or suppresses the the side effect not the actual cause yeah exactly and don't be afraid looking for answers yeah i know how it is when you just like get medication and like the doctor who has the license and have everything which supposed to be in place to provide that advice and gives you a medication and prescription but don't be afraid to just 
just question that and, and look for the answers. There's a very simple way of looking at this. If you think about statistics, a general doctor has a 10 minute slot to recognize and diagnose a patient's symptoms, out of which statistically he only spends 10 seconds listening to the patient explaining what the issue is. That should purely help you understand how the medical industry works and how skewed its response is to your illness. And we're not saying we're medical practitioners, but functional medicine has a better way of understanding the underlying cause than treating and suppressing just the symptoms that come across. That's been a long list of things that you should stop doing. And guess what we're doing next week? We're gonna start talking about what you should start doing, the basic steps that you should be taking to live a healthy lifestyle. So tune in again next week. And let us know in the comments below what will be your thing you will start doing today. Thank you so much for watching this video. That was an absolute pleasure. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up because it would really support our channel. If you know anyone from your family, friends who will benefit from the content of our channel, please share. And thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.